Hi guys, I'm gonna do the overdone New Year's Eve video. I haven't really thought about New Year's. Um, I know it's, it's coming, but I don't know anything more than that. These days, it's been difficult to see the next day, <laughs> honestly. It's all like, as long as I survived 2018, I, I did well. Because 2018 was very difficult, but I honestly don't think it was that difficult comparatively to other years for me. Uh, you know, when September hits, it's like just a downhill battle for me. So, as long as I survive 2018, good to go. I'm hoping 2019 is much better, but we will see. I have not thought about goals, which is kind of plays into my mindset where I'm like, at least I'm seeing tomorrow. Okay, yes, I'm just, I survived until tomorrow, but now it's just like, well, I don't have any goals really. It's just wake up tomorrow, <laughs> wake up the next day. So I guess I will give it a shot and try this whole New Year's resolutions thing, which I used to always be all about, but not these days anymore. Anyways, just so I have an idea of what to go off of, because I need ideas to go off of clearly. Um, definitely, I don't, the thing is, I don't think that 2019 is going to be anything significant for me. Like, I feel if I got my degree in 2019, that'd be like, that's the year I get my degree, but I think I have another year and a half before I get my degree, so it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Honestly, it's so all like, oh, I get through another year of uphill battle, you know? So, there's that. Um, ideally, um, I do want to not necessarily vlog more, because vlogging has always been difficult for me doing what I do. Um, not necessarily doing what I'm doing because like right now I'm not really in work. There, there is a vulnerable section of the legal code and that would be senior citizens and children that I deal with. So because they're in the vulnerable section I feel like anything that I say online is not necessarily good for children or the parents of the children. It's just that it's, I have to be more careful what I say on these videos. Not that that's going to stop me at all, but I do think that me going forward in life, it's not a good idea to continue doing vlogs because, you know, what's going to happen to the vlogs? Once it out, was out there, what happens? Who knows? But I did want to look into New Year's resolutions and uh, see which one I can pick because I'm thinking right now, nothing, nothing is jumping out to me. Although I would love to, depending on how it goes. Currently in my mind I'm thinking about the future, which is, I have two courses like on child growth and development, and then I have two courses on field studies, and then another one on work experience. So altogether that's five courses, but that's kind of what I'm doing altogether next semester. And semester ends in March, I think. So that is the gist of my next semester. I'm just thinking about time-wise because if I commit to one thing, I don't know if I'll be able to necessarily do it if I don't have the time. In theory, I would have the time, but who knows. The thing with New Year's resolutions is I used to make them, but I guess I gradually stopped making them for some reason. I don't know. But uh, here I have 50 New Year's resolution ideas and how to achieve them. Not necessarily I, am I concerned with how to achieve them, but good to know how to achieve them. Usually I imagine they're mostly about weight loss and finances and I guess being an all-around good person. But let's see what they actually say. This is from Lifehack. Okay, so one of them, for example, yeah, totally. One from for um, exercise is get in shape, eat, eating healthier, don't procrastinate, improve concentration and mental skills. Oh, here we go. This is something. Meet new people. Put a pin in that. Uh, become more active. Be more confident and take chances. Make money or earn more money. Become more polite. Reduce stress. Learn to be happier with your life. That's a good one. Uh, get more quality sleep and give up cigarettes. Fair, fair. Watch less TV. Read more. Find a, <laughs> find a significant other. Put a pin in that one. Oh my gosh. And it's interesting. Have better sex. Become tidier. Learn how to dress with style. 
Spend more time with the people that matter. That's a good one. And this could go on forever. Start thinking in moderation. Get out of debt. Save money. Learn a new language. Volunteer. Uh, pick up useful skills for fun hobbies. Learn how to let go of grudges and avoid mapping. Oh, wait. So the word is moping. And adopt a cute pet. It goes on forever because it's uh, that's only 25 and there's 50 of them. Uh, become more organized, travel, see the world, learn to cook, go see your doctor more often. No, thank you. <laughs> I don't want to see my doctor more often. That's not a good thing for me. Uh, reinvent yourself. Stop being late all the time. Learn how to be more self-reliant. Turn your hobby into a career. That's a good one. Put a pin in that one. And get over an X. Learn to control your emotions. Start being more responsible. Learn about art, music, culture, etc. Spend less time on social media. <laughs> no. And learn how to... Ooh, that's a good one. Learn how to defend yourself. Like, four years ago, I learned how to defend myself. That's a good one. Become more romantic. Start remembering important dates. Become more social. And the f top five are... Well, not sorry, top five. But these are the last five. Start being more creative. Start expressing yourself artistically. Face your fears and insecurities. That's a good one. Start writing a book or a journal. Stick to the good, healthy habits you've developed. Those are all really, really good ones. Um, I definitely noted some of that. I was like, oh, that's an interesting one. So definitely these ones have got me thinking. The link to these the website I found them on is down below. But um, it's all about becoming a better you. Um, Not necessarily becoming a you that you're comfortable with. And that's kind of why... New Year's resolutions fail. You're doing something that's totally out of the norm. If you do it more gradually, you're more likely to stick to it. I don't know. I'm thinking that one of the things I'd be more interested in is, like, I've been seeing it all today, actually, is, I guess, in some ways, taking more risks, but it's dangerous because I really am not a fan of wanting to take risks. But uh, I did want to take risks in the romantic department. So that is something I can look into, and I guess I can take it from there. Uh, I can, like, there was always, I'm always on the uh, cusp of something I can do. Like, there was always events that I know about that I can go to, I just tend not to go. So that's something else I can change. Go to more events, see more people, see what happens there. But in the end, hmm, it's hard to change how I am. Because I, I do tend to be shy. But I would totally open my mind to this idea. Uh, did I say write more journals? I mean, there are things like I would definitely write in my blog more. I'd make more videos. I'd, I want to do more art. But I can't promise that. I'll, I don't want to commit to things that I know that I'm like, I'm probably not going to do that. But it would be great to say I would do more art. I'll write more. I'll be more creative, but I can't promise that, and I'm not going to commit to that, so there's that. And they were also saying something about having another pet. I definitely wanted, um, I feel like my dream is over about having three more rabbits, but if ever I got the chance to have five rabbits, I'd be down for that. Otherwise, I'm totally okay with taking care of the rabbits I have. And loving the d and loving the dog I do have, so I mean, being content with life, being happy in the moment, is probably a better way to go about things than just acquiring more things. There are things that I know and I can anticipate, but I don't know if I necessarily want to like express it right now because I know that I'd rather it be a surprise for people. But yeah, like I mean, I can give you one. I mean, like I don't want to like tell you all my plans. But one is, what ear is it? I can never tell my ears. Okay, okay, so I think it's this ear. So this ear has two earrings in it, except like, down here is an earring too. Uh, I want to, woo, I can't see it. Uh, there's a piercing up here, which you can or cannot see. Either or, if I, if it is still there tomorrow, or in, the next time I put my ears, earrings in, if it's still that small, or whether or not the next time I put my earrings in, I want to change the studs to um, rings. And I want to, if 
that's possible. I wanted to get that done. If not, I'm gonna I'm fine with like letting it heal and getting repairs. But I also want to get this tragus done. Oh my gosh, my ears! Uh, I want to get this tragus done and something more down here probably. But uh, yeah, that's more of that. I also wanted to go and get my ta next tattoo done, but that's more about like, well, are they free for to do it? Should I book it? Should I do it now? Who knows? I always know what I want. I just never find the time to do it. Plus, I'm also thinking money management because I don't know if I said it, but there are certain things I want to buy. Uh, things like, I realized the band that I really, really wanted to see isn't coming to my city, so, yeah, it's fine. I won't buy the ticket then. <laughs> I'm totally on board with the idea that I'll save money from buying the ticket. I'll try to save money more and more, but, um, I think, all in all, I'm okay with everything. Uh, otherwise, like, I mean, I feel like New Year's resolutions are for if you want to really, really change, but for me, I'm on, like, not really making a big deal about it. You have to change on the 31st. Or January 1st. It has to be something. I think it's more like any day of the week. Do I want to cut my hair off? Okay, I'll cut my hair off. Do I want to dye my hair? I want to dye my hair. Do I want to get a piercing? I'm going to go get that piercing. Or that tattoo. Or whatever it is. It doesn't have to be New Year's to drastically change things. All in all, I say, as I said before, it drastically changes something. It's not necessarily going to work for you unless you do it gradually because your body has to get used to it. So, definitely increasing more exercise in your life is a good idea. But going gung-ho, you're like, going to do it every single day in like January and then forget about it for the rest of the year. So, I mean, if you do it gradually, that's the best way to do things. But what do I know? Just the person on the internet. Anyways, I will see you guys when I see you guys, maybe next year. Who knows? Uh, I hope all your resolutions come true. And as always, love X Lurk. Bye.